Jonathan and Ebony sent me this song, Sales by Pat Barrett, to listen to for today. I'll be honest with you. I thought he had lost his mind. Jonathan loves this song, and I thought, man, I don't get this song. This seems like a depressing, cheesy love song to Jesus to me, and I just don't get this kind of song. It feels like poetry, and like I'm not connecting with any parts of it. And a few days later, though, I found myself humming the tune in my head, and I thought, well, at least it's catchy. And then I kept listening to the words I was singing again, and I was singing, um, open up the sails of my heart. Open up the sails of my heart. That's a little bit of later lyric in this song. And if you listen to the whole song, which I really wish you would go back and listen to the whole song, uh, man, that's really the crux of the song. Um, Pat Barrett's inviting us to open up the sails of our heart. And now that's a metaphor. It's a poetic metaphor. I don't think I ever considered how much my heart is closed off to God. How, how much I'm clinching and I'm closing and I'm remaining clenched when I'm trying to interact with God. You know, I hear some of you guys talk about you love praying to God and telling him every thought in your mind and you cry out to God. And I just got to be honest with you. I, I don't do that naturally. What I do is I often am fearful of God. I'm, I'm, I'm closed off because I don't want to make a mistake and I don't want to disappoint him. And I know that it's there for a reason. And, and I struggle to be vulnerable with God. And so after singing the song for a couple days in my head, I love that idea of opening up my heart, letting the sails open to catch the wind of God, the power of God behind me. Because we all know that when we're clinched and closed off, we do not have the power of God within us. When we open up and say, God, wherever you'll take me, wherever you'll blow today, wherever you'll lead me, I'll go with you. The way that Paul says in 2 Corinthians 13, 4, he says, Jesus for sure, he was crucified in weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. And we, likewise, we are weak in him, yet by God's power we live with him. And it's through the weakness, it's through the weakness and vulnerability that we open to God that his power lives within us. God, would open us up to your power today in a vulnerable way with you. We would see striving and open ourselves up to your will and your way in our lives. Amen.